Hey, good morning, guys. This is my morning brief video. And uh, so basically, I think today really centers around uh, the dollar and, uh, you know, risk, risk appetites. And uh, so we've had a really nice uh, rally, you know, earlier this week up over 200 points. We're basically a two standard deviation move outside our expected move for the week. OK, so it's a very bullish market. Uh, has been a very bullish market this morning we got a little bit of sell side action going on here indices are currently uh in the red okay uh thought we were getting a breakout into the close yesterday it came it came in uh the final minutes and sold into it you know so uh as we all know that uh there were 6.5 uh billion to sell to close out the quarter and uh so far, the 3,800 is an obvious area where institutions are selling into, and they even sold into it into the close yesterday. We're currently trading underneath that. Maybe today we can break above it. Maybe we don't, you know, but we are, like I said, way outside our project, our predicted models to the upside already. So just keep that in the back of your mind when you're trading. I know a lot of you guys want to be bullish. You want to be putting these bullish trades on. You know, uh, we are in a wild, wild west on uh, options because, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, it's just going way outside, uh, uh, quite inefficient on the markets. And uh, as of yesterday, we also between SPY and SPX, you know, we're, we're getting something like 20 percent of the entire volume of the of the market is just in two instruments. So, uh, you know, very illiquid markets. You know, uh, they're trying to drive price using just the SPX to drive prices higher, which they can definitely do. So uh, just be aware of that. What's going on here? Uh, you know, it does. You just write headline and lo and behold, this thing can then just turn on a dime. So be aware of that. So I'm focusing in here on the dollar. I've got a regression line and this is our primary uptrend regression line that we've got going on here on the dollar okay and it's been in place for some time now i am leaning to think that we are going to start going back above this regression line like we'd have in the past okay and so a lot of people thought once we broke that regression line we came down here that dollar weakness was starting here to stay and then we came down into my critical support area and we found buyers down here on this regression line so what I do here, whenever I'm doing my analysis on, on something like this, uh, let me go here, on the zoom, okay. I just zoom in here. This is also a regression channel. So what I can do here, let's go like, let's go out Monday and we'll see something here, uh, activate. So well, let's come in Sunday night. Okay, Sunday night, here's, here's where our regression was at. So we know that this downtrend we overshot our downtrend on our regression, pointing to a regression low down in this area right here. Yesterday, we came up to that regression low and it rejected. Today, we're rallying back up into it again. It looks to me like by the open or near the early session of today, we're going to see the dollar trying to break back into uh, this downtrend as a potential overshoot. Okay. Now, what I can, what you can do, you know, what I love using with these regression channels, you just go out to the uh, overnight session on this, and you can see how things have progressed as the week has went on on your regression channel. So <clears throat> you see what's going on uh, as of Monday. So uh, because of the price action changing, okay, you know, uh, you know, we, we've got worse price action on Monday. We got a steeper regression downward, okay. Then, you know, uh, oh, that was Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah, that was yeah, Monday, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, there we go. And then we come down to the next day, okay? Okay, we even get a steeper sell-off on our dollar, you know, because of that Monday, Tuesday, you know, that, that was Monday, that was Tuesday, okay? Okay, and so that is the worst, you know, potential, the, the worst of the week. So what we see, we see a bullish reversal of the weekly trend okay 
So we're opening above that. that I think that's really an important tell of what price action we might see today, us going above this. So I'm anchoring that right there. I think this is our primary uh, uh, channel that we need to be trading against in today's session. So in my opinion, duplicate. Realizing the situation, I think there is a potential we can come up to here and test the top of the channel. This puts us back up into these eye, these highs, okay? And also that puts us above that regression like I was showing you earlier. So I'm really keeping a close eye on this dollar scenario here. <clears throat> Thinking that, you know, we might have a change of tone in the dollar today, which would in, in tune be uh, sell side pressure on the markets, okay? So just definitely keep that on watch here. So early morning here, okay, um, we got some, uh, 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 the ones that are showing momentum to the downside are on lighter volume. So we're really not getting any type of clear signal to the downside sell, sell, sell actions so far. We don't have any conviction to downside selling pressure. So be aware of that. Uh, other things I want to show you here. Uh, one big takeaway that I had yesterday, let me go to my other chart here on my volume. So, uh, yeah, I can use that one. Okay, go over here and zoom in here real quick. <clears throat> so, we had a big sell down yesterday morning on a higher volume, okay? And then all of a sudden, we started just, uh, just, just trying to go higher and higher and higher. It wasn't until 12.05 that actual volume showed up in the markets, you know, to uh, start pushing price to the upside, okay? And uh, and even it even then it was one two three candles, so th basically three period time periods five minute time periods all the way up till uh, one fifteen was driving the ES futures. So they were using the S and P's and spy to drive the entire marketplace up, and they were doing it, uh, you know, on the current on on and on small occurrences as well. So be aware of that scenario going forward here uh, and if you go to your market watch as of yesterday you know we had about 60 percent uh, declining and 40 percent advancing on the s p 500 so the breath was not supporting this move higher so be aware we, we had converging themes going on in the market yesterday okay so um, so basically we basically had a low volume short squeeze and they were using the s p's to push price higher so uh that's pretty much my takeaway my plan for today uh you know if my dollar thesis is correct i would be leaning to the to the bearish side uh but the problem is here uh i got my darn alarm clock going off i'm sorry uh we're right back to that 3780 area that we i had mentioned yesterday morning so if we get an open you know once we start if we were to put prices below that 37.80 uh, early on this morning, uh, then I would be looking more to the short side for short scalps. So, you know, that's just prim my primary thesis. So we'll see what happens here. But I do think something's changed in the dollar. And I think that crude oil, two standard deviation thing, that has, that has added pressure to the Europe, the whole European theme or, you know, uh, so... I think Europe's digesting, hey, you know, we don't want to be messing around with these OPEC countries and uh, they're going to be throwing away that legislation trying to regulate uh, uh, Russia's uh, 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 oil prices of what they can sell oil to other countries for. So I, I think that's going to be completely thrown out, out the door because uh, they have proven that Russia has strong allies in the OPEC community. So thanks a lot. I'll see you later.